Architecture is going digital, but at some point, we're going to find ourselves focusing back on natural materials. Every natural material has its own limitations though, so the challenge is figuring out how to get all those pieces to fit together and create a functional structure. That's where computers are so helpful. We had used various 3D software prior to CATIA, but had many problems with accuracy and or utilizing large amounts of data issues and response of the software. Projects are becoming larger and more sophisticated. With the 3D Experience platform, we were able to leave logs of what changes we had made in the past and use the flexibility where we can go back and make alterations on previous designs. Utilizing the 3D Experience platform, I found a new wealth of freedom to change or combine various other parametrics without any fear. I feel I can create any design with this application with stability, versatility, and even use very large data sets. An actual project utilizing the 3D Experience platform would be a museum now being constructed in Great Britain. We optimize the exterior design layout with preset sizes of precast concrete blocks, which would have been impossible with the previous software. With the 3D Experience software, we were able to optimize the length by adjusting data to eradicate any irregular length blocks which would have inflated construction costs, had we not been able to do that. At one hotel project, we designed small, placed, box-shaped blocks as the grand design and style. Using the knowledge function within the 3D Experience platform, even with 3,000 to 4,000 blocks, we had no problems giving intelligence to each block, and they adjusted themselves to fit into the surrounding environment. We envisioned utilizing the 3D Experience platform at its full potential, not only for its CAD function, but also being connected through the cloud sharing information utilizing SWIM. We believe we can also use the network to connect with our offices in Paris and Beijing for the same purposes, to propagate a deeper understanding of Kuma's concept and intentions. We can dream up any virtual architectural space and convert those ideas into actual drawings. It's cool how the digital advances in the architectural world have gone step in step with a renewed awareness of the real thing.